You remember Brecken, who did battle with the might of Cory Brecken. Centuries later, another soul braved the whirlpool. This is the true story of how that mere mortal dived and survived. It started as a childhood fascination, but as the years passed, it became an obsession. Everyone warned of its dangers, said it was madness. But after years of longing, listening, learning the ropes, what power could mere words have over the lure of Corybrecht? Eventually the day came, and it was a beautiful, calm morning. That was a good sign. Excitement grew as the boat raced towards the horizon. The minutes ticked, the sun skipped in and out of darkening clouds. The waves grew choppier, but the boat anchored on cue. It was time to go. Down slowly, a seemingly unending descent into a ghostly underworld where cold spirits seem to circle and spin in an eternal silent dance. But finally, the top of the pinnacle. After a few tentative steps, a sheer drop appeared, a black and ravenous void. Even the fish were rushing to hide from the ferocious currents. The bubbles, instead of surging to the surface, were hurtling downwards being sucked into the abyss below. Then, a nightmarish tussle ensued. The whirlpool wrapped its fingers tightly around frantically kicking legs, desperately struggling to wrestle free of the whirlpool's furious clutches. When suddenly, mighty Corybrechka, weary of the battle, unclenched her fist and cast her prisoner out. Who could survive such a terrifying ordeal?